Welcome back to the Heads Up Show, it's Steve, and today I'm showing you how to install the new Oakley Pro visor, specifically for the Riddell Speed Flex helmet. So here's a couple of examples of what they look like installed. I'm gonna say you're not fitting a piece of paper through there. These visors have been talked about for a while. I'm sure you saw them on the field last year in the NFL. Uh, they are now available to you. We have them on our website right now in four different colors. There are more colors coming. I don't know when, so I'm not even gonna go there, but these things fit so nicely. As you can see, I kind of have them just sitting here. They're, they're not in with any hardware or anything. I mean, it's Oakley, so you've kind of come to expect the best from them. So now you have the option of the Shock Zero G, which is also a zero gap speed flex specific visor and these four Oakleys. So when you buy them, it comes in the retail packaging, this nice big bag slash cleaning cloth, black unbranded Oakley clips and the whole sheet of tab decals. We offer the clips in a whole rainbow of colors from different yellows and blues and greens, whites, different colors, different shades of gray, I mean, you name it. So, but anyway, enough of that. So let's take this light gray adult large speed flex and let's throw this HD mask on there and then we'll install the visor because I suspect most of you are gonna be installing these new visors in your helmet with the face mask already on place. So I use the Riddell quick release tool to take off and install the quick release hardware because, well, it's designed specifically for that. You can use a screwdriver or something, just be super careful. Uh, but if you're gonna do this a lot, just get yourself one of these. The large one always goes on top. And the smalls always go on the bottom. All right, so now our face mask is in place. You wanna take your chin strap, push it out of the way, take your visor, I usually do it right from here and you just kind of slide it right up in there. Go slow, no matter how nice and expensive or cheap or whatever these visors or any visors are, just remember they're plastic. So you can only beat on them so much, okay? So there you go, you see how easy that was to slip in place. On this one, I use the unbranded Under Armour clips. So let me show you how it is to install with these, and then I'll show you how to do it with the Oakley clip as well. I'm sure you guys have all seen this many times, but take this, line it up with your hole, thumb screw on the inside, Lock it down and you're good. For the Oakley ones, let's take them off of this one so I can show you how easy it is to undo it. You just very similarly undo the thumb screw. So these are a little bit different. So with this, you can put these on before or after. You take this and snap it over, okay? And then on the inside, you'll see right here, it's probably hard to tell, but you just line those holes up, take your thumb screw, tighten it down, and that's it. We're done here. The new Oakley clips are what you're going to see 
90% of the time on the field in the NFL along with these visors because Oakley made a deal with the NFL where they are the only brand allowed now. So yeah. Um, but anyway, hope that helps. I know you guys are really excited for these visors. We've been waiting quite a while for them. Thankfully, we got them just in time because some of the seasons are kicking off right now. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out greengridiron.com. Share this video with your friends and please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, cheers.